Hi, um, I'm thinking a lot today about um, bullies and um, the types of people who are bullies and the types of people who get bullied. Um, a lot of times if you're getting bullied um, at any age, uh, it can be because there's something about you that looks weak or inferior. Um, a lot of times it is a facial shape, um, like smaller head, uh, weaker jaw line, weaker jaw structure. Um, maybe your eyes are kind of close together or a little bit crossed. Maybe uh, there's a feature that is out of balance with the rest of your face. Um, and th these are these are things that kind of stand out to bullies and um, they see an easy target. They see you as a victim. And if you have experienced this um, ever since you've been a child, you become conditioned to feeling that way and responding to things in a certain way. Um, and it's kind of like that becomes your reality. You don't know how to go about things differently. Not much, not very often anyway. Um, it can be really hard if you have uh, a brain injury because um, the same emotions, the same thought patterns are going to happen over and over and kind of whack you in the head over and over. Um, I personally wasn't able to find any help with therapy because it felt like they were trying to trigger uh, those emotions, rip open those old wounds a bit. Um, at a certain point it just feels like, you know, it's okay to block it out. It's okay to not uh, have to feel that way. It's okay to not try to work through it if it is only causing physical pain the emotional pain causes physical pain aggravates your physical injuries your heart your head injury what's the point in going back there and ripping off the band-aids um i understand that everybody has to <clears throat> make money um but at the end of the day, I felt like I needed to figure out how to help myself. Because um, when you don't get help, you have to learn how to help yourself, right? Um, but about bullies, um, and you know, it continues into adulthood. <laughs> they never, they never really go away. Bullies are who they are. Um, oftentimes, they are very uh, strong, dominant personality types. Um, they have the gift of gab, <laughs> strong uh, neurological functioning. <clears throat> they can literally think on their feet. Um, it's not just an expression, it's when they're standing upright, um, their spine and your spine and head is more under more um, stress when you're standing up than when you're sitting. <clears throat> And they can continue to think and function and talk and act and respond quickly. Um, and they're often um, successful people in life because they're they're sharp. They're with it. <clears throat> um, people who get bullied uh, often are a little bit on the slow side, which is not an insult by any means. It just means that they're functioning neurologically a little bit slower. There's a delay, especially if you are overwhelmed by the stress and anxiety of of your bully bullying you. You're you become stunned. Um you you can't react. You can't you're just like a deer in headlights. You can't um really function and then you feel the pain and the anger later on. Um you think, oh, I should have done this, I should have said that. 
or whatever, but, you know, it's too late, it's after the fact. Um, a lot of times, uh, people's borderline personality will come out a bit. They feel that pain, that anger of being bullied and picked on, but, um, the physical aggression just isn't there. Um, that's good, because <laughs> you don't want to be a jerk or hurt anybody, bottom line. Um, but there's still that tendency to feel that way. So that can come out in um, your behaviors or more passive aggressive types of uh, things. Um, which is a natural response. A lot of times people will try to kind of demonize that oh, borderline personality disorder or whatever. But a lot of people suffer. A lot of people are in uh, different kinds of pain. Um, and they need help, um, especially if you're having a hard time fitting into your community, into your town. You're being hated and discriminated against a bit. Um, it can really wear on a person a lot. Um, and you have to find ways to, to just be able to keep going and try to seem happy and, and friendly, even though it's hard, physically hard to, to smile and be happy. <laughs> um, but you know, you have to just keep trying and, um, and, and just hope that, um, you know, if, if you can make some friends and seem like, seem like you're not alone in the world, um, that you have people who believe in you, um, these, these can be really good, helpful things because a bully will often be a bully because they feel that they have the dominance, the influence, people love them, praise them, people are on their side, and not on your side. Um, so this is kind of how bullies think and operate in those terms. Um, so I hope this can help you to kind of understand and and process things a little bit. This is very complex for sure. Um, just, you know, sit and relax and meditate and <laughs> figure it out if you have to. You never want to be violent in any way even if they're acting physically aggressive toward you, you never ever want to respond with any of that. Um, I hope this can help you.